It's a huge honor to represent your country. The Olympics is the pinnacle of sport, so it's been a dream since 2019 when I first started playing three on three to be an Olympian and now to finally have that you know, full circle moment and achieve that goal is a dream come true. <laughs> it's hard for me to get satisfied in, in the game of basketball. I feel like there's always something to improve on and get better. You know, obviously, if uh, we were to do well at the Olympics and, and possibly win our medal, I think that would that would feel really good. I, mean, I think that's what everyone here is trying to do, uh, all the countries that have made it. Um, so obviously, that's that's all the hard work that it's going into. So that would definitely feel satisfying. Yeah, very excited for Paris. I mean, for us to uh, get the news that Miami stays together as the four for Paris and for the Olympics. I mean, I think USA made the right decision and now it's our job to uh, prepare for it the right way on tour and then go win gold when the time comes. The cliche is that it's not the destination, it's the journey. And um, I, I don't think you really understand that until you've kind of lived it. Yeah, I think it was definitely a learning experience. I mean, we won that uh, America Cup and that was really the first time we had played together. And we had such great chemistry that I think both ourselves and USA Basketball wanted to keep us together. And we kind of had a rough start that next year. You know, we lost in the finals of the World Cup on a shot that could have easily gone in. And then we kind of came off that World Cup loss and had a couple tough tournaments where we didn't make it out of pool play or lost on some buzzer beaters and really had to just regroup and trust the process and trust each other and continue to grow and improve. And, you know, then we kind of hit a point in the season where I think we found our stride and, you know, rattled off a couple Masters wins and a Pan American gold medal and really felt like we were playing good basketball. And it feels really good this season to go into it with a foundation. Um, a lot of times in the U.S. I feel like our teams are constantly changing or we're rotating new players in. So to kind of have a core group of guys that we can build off of what we did last year and continue to gain and improve towards the Olympics is really exciting. And I'm excited to see not only how this world tour season goes, but what we can accomplish in Paris. So, I mean, it's the highest level of, of comp competition in sport. So it's uh, to get the call to play, it's a huge honor. I grew up watching it with my mom in the living room all the time since I was eight years old. Uh, so just to be a part of it and be around other really good athletes uh, in their respective sports, I think it's gonna be an amazing experience. And I mean, just doesn't even feel real still, to be honest. The Berry family has accomplished basically everything you can accomplish in basketball in terms of NCAA championships, NBA championships, NBA All-Star, um, you know, dunk contest winner, Hall of Famer. So for me to be able to add my own twist to that legacy is, is really special. And to be the only Barry in the Olympics definitely means a lot. And I'm glad that I not only can represent my country, but can add to that legacy. Um, I started off not knowing how to play 3x3 basketball, um, you know, just coming in and trying to figure it out and playing with guys that are veterans that have, have done it for a long period of time and to try to teach me how to do it. So it took me probably a good six months before I felt actually comfortable being on the court with them and playing actual 3x3 basketball. You know, the experience to be able to play all over the world in front of awesome fans everywhere has been, uh, you know, life changing. It really has. It's been eye opening. It's been a fun experience to just do it with the guys that I really love and appreciate to to see the world and play a game that I love. Yeah, starting 3x3 in 2015, the game was very different. So I think I've just seen a lot of different types of styles um, of play. Uh, did lots of evolution of the game, honestly. So I think um, having experienced that and being able to apply some of the, the way the game kind of used to be played to the sort of new school uh, is really helpful in terms of, you know, finding ways to win. And, and this team uh, seems to be very good at that. I'm really excited to see how 3 on 3 continues to grow, hopefully with more exposure in Paris. I think it's going to be a super popular event. I think the tickets are going to be super hard to get and it's going to be really fun to have that atmosphere and play 3x3 there. I mean, 3x3 as, as a whole league, I think from, from Tokyo to now, I think it's just a lot better product and you just see a lot better players playing. So, 
know, it's the difference between the, the practical and the possible, right? Is it possible? Yes, but is it practical? Maybe not, unless you make it so. And so, uh, you know, I don't think I'd you know, be here three years later um, if I didn't really want to do it, you know? I think it's going to be a sport that people are going to gravitate towards um, because it is basketball. People love basketball. It's just a different format, but it's outside. It's in the middle of the city, right? It's right downtown where people are walking past. They're going to be like, man, I want to try to get in here. And I feel like it's going to be a really great crowd every single time we step on that floor. I've heard that the tickets have been sold out for forever, right, already. Um, so, you know, it's going to be nerve wracking. It'll be exciting, but it'll be an exhilarating experience.